Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the three logical functions and we have been given that when the end operation is performed on these three functions, then its output is equal to logic zero. So here we have been asked to find the maximum number of possible mean terms in the function f3. So here we have been given that all three functions are the function of three variables. And we know that the function with the three variable can contain at the most 8 mean terms or if the function is in the product of some form then at the most it can contain 8 max terms. So here this function f1 is given in the sum of product form and as you can see it contains 3 mean terms while this function f2 is given in the product of some form and as you can see it contains total 5 max terms. So first of all let us convert this function f2 in the equivalent SOP form. So in the SOP form, it will contain the mean terms which is not present in this POS form. So starting from 0 to 7, if you see, then the numbers which is missing in this POS form are 2, 4 and 5. So this is the equivalent SOP form of this function F2. Now whenever we do the end operation of this function F1 and F2, then it will contain the mean terms which is present in both functions f1 and f2. So in this case as you can see these two mean terms are these 2 and 4. That means for these two mean terms only the end operation of this f1 and f2 will be equal to 1. Or in other words for the input combinations corresponding to these two mean terms only the output of this function f1 dot f2 will be equal to 1. Now in this case we have been given that the end operation of these three functions f1, f2 and f3 is equal to 0. That means this function f is equal to 0. Now here, although we have been given the functions f1 and f2, but we have been not given the function f3. But intuitively if you see, then since the output of this end operation is 0, that means this function f3 will contain the mean terms, which is not present in the both functions f1 and f2. Because if this f3 contains any of these two mean terms, then for that particular mean term or the input combination corresponding to that particular mean term, the output of this function f will be equal to logic high. So we can say that this function f3 will contain the mean terms which is not present in the function f1 dot f2. So those mean terms are 0, 1, 3, 5, 6 and 7. That means this function f3 can contain any of these mean terms or the combination of these mean terms and at the most it can contain all these mean terms. So if the function f3 contains all these mean terms in that case the total number of mean terms in this function f3 is equal to 6. So we can say that at the most this function f3 can contain total 6 mean terms and therefore for the given question this is the correct answer.